I just fuck your bitch That's some Gucci flip flops Heart throb never Black and ugly as ever However, I stay Gucci down to the socks You get the bag and fumble it I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Yo, 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 yo. What's up, bro? What's up, my boy? Bro, we back. Episode seven. Yet again. At Granny's house. <laughs> we went to cousins, you already What's know, up? bro. Hey, hey, I'm here with my favorite cousin, then, man. They be talking shit. You feel oh, me? I'm going to have to move the mic. Sorry. That's yeah. Anyway, I'm here with the fam. Bro, we going to talk shit. Back? We hit. Oh, 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 man. I'm more than happy to be back. We had to talk shit all. Look. All night with the fans. I heard Granny cooking grits in the morning. Oh man! And it's Sunday. Hey, hey, and I brought my own cover this uh, weekend. I brought my own no cover. No sleeping on the couch without the covers this weekend. <laughs> oh, we about to have a ball. Let's get it. We're about to have a ball, and I tell you what, bro, we got a hell of a show for him today. Man, talk about it. We, talk we, we, about we, we, it. We, we stirred up. We stirred up quite the, quite the emotions on that last uh, Confessions <laughs> of the Scum, man. But I ain't gonna lie. A lot it of people good. said we wasn't wrong, bro. And it was a lot of good feedback, too. I ain't gonna lie. Excellent you know what's feedback. so crazy? Talk to me. They fuck with the fact that we tell it how it's supposed to be told. <laughs> Ain't no sugarcoating shit. No, like, no, motherfuckers no. like, bro, that's fucked up. You feel me? Like, yep, yep. bro, like, that's fucked but up. But how can you blame somebody if they didn't know? Didn't, we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. So, nah, so that was good. But uh, at I'll least we was on tack mode off the kindness of our heart. Like, at least we was trying to protect for this, protect this first. For this young sister. And I'll tell you what, though. I want to know if she think about this. She probably, <sighs> she probably like, I want to know if those guys think about that. Yes, <laughs> we think about it, lady. Uh, I wonder, do I ever cross <laughs> your mind? I'm swinging. <laughs> bro, for real, bro. But I tell you what, they gonna uh, it's gonna stir a lot more emotions on this 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 episode's Ooh. confessions of a scum. But uh, but before we get to all that, you know how we like to do, we like to keep the bills paid in this joint. We don't do nothing but pay bills around here. At least we on time during Talk, the corona. Man, we I just mean, try to keep it as on time as we can. I mean, you on time. Hey, when them episodes drop an hour or two late, um, if oh, they an hour or two late, hey, hold on, that's bro. that's a whole. <laughs> different <laughs> level of like conversation, bro. Like bro. people have been. We are sorry, man. We look, sorry. Things look, happen. Things happen. Y'all gotta understand. Things look, happen. Things happen. So Why we try ooh, you just brought that up like man, that? But how? Look, how? Look, like, we got now. We got to explain ourselves. Now, mind you, this episode <sighs> might start an hour late. It's been starting an hour late already. They're like, oh yeah, you goddamn right. We be mad at that shit. But look. We apologize. Yes. And we are gonna make sure we stay on time, just yes. like we stay the on time goal, paying our bills. The goal is to be out. Every Wednesday, mm-hmm. things happen in life. You feel what I'm saying? We still be working, but things happen. You know what I'm saying? We go through a lot of tech. Work with us, family. Just work, work with us. us. Just work with us. That's it. Well, we got y'all. Though. We got y'all. So that's it. Let's pay these bills, man. And to pay these bills, we always got my favorite people here, man. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. people over at the Quote Group. You know what it is, bro. From storytelling to entertainment, music to philanthropy, the Quote Theory of Change reflects its overall belief and has become a way of life for Kareem Quote. Wells, the K stands for know your genius. The W stands for work to be unstoppable. The O stands for on your actions. And the E stands for explore the world. Whether it's frontlining some of the most upscale events in Chicago or putting in thousands and thousands of hours of community service, the Quo Group is an essential part of Chicago's entertainment scene. And I love those guys. Hey. I love those guys. They love you too because that's all they do is <laughs> show, show us love. love. <laughs> I love them. I love them. You know what? Uh, you know, Appreciate uh, y'all. Thank y'all. Again, y'all make sure y'all head over to kwoegroup.com. They got their hand in everything and see how they can change your life. And we got a website that can change your life too. So let's yes, sir. Flipflopsocks.com where you can get all your summer apparel because spring is, is almost over. Wait, 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 wait. When you say spring is almost over, did you feel that goddamn rain? It's been raining for the and last. And it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days, too. Oh, yeah, too, so, so y'all get online right now. Get those rain jackets. those raincoats. Yes, sir. Get those flip-flops. Oh, my God. Bro. And use that code. Use Flop that code. 10. We still out here showing love because y'all been showing love. We seven episodes in. Excuse mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this love is crazy. Don't you think, bro? Like, like I mean, I mean, don't, wouldn't you agree? Bro, like, wouldn't you I'm agree? I'm going to tell you, bro. I, didn't ex- I, I expected to get some love because, you know... We show love. We so show love, but I, I I I think the universe works like that. If you if you but give the love, amount of love, love we've been getting though, bro, it's like what bro what what have we done to deserve this kind of bro? When it's again, your time, it's your time. That's flipflopsocks.com. and we appreciate into flop uh, flop ten to get that uh, <laughs> that ten percent discount, man. And thank you, and thank you, we thank love you, y'all. Now 
Hey, look, he ready to now, get the episode. God damn. I'm loaded. Uh, bro, look, bro. I got to spark this up Shit. because because I tell you what, bro. I, uh, as always, I'm curious. Curious, <laughs> yeah. That's funny, isn't it? As always, I'm curious, bro. Okay, um, I'm curious this week about marriage. Ooh, wee, wee, wee. Let's oh, talk about oh, it. Oh, do you think I mean getting married? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> now, what I truly mean is this. As I was out perusing the aisles of Walgreens. Walgreens. Baby sister to Wally World. <laughs> Goddamn. Baby sister. As I was perusing the aisles looking for toiletries and such, I uh, get approached by a woman. Um, I didn't want to say, oh, this young woman. No, no, she was probably a little older than me. She was probably, uh, she was probably like, well, she was, she had a few years on me. She had a few years on me. So she was probably pushing 40. So she had, yeah, she got quite a few years on me, but she was, she was, she was, whatever. Now, um, this is a, 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 a pretty woman. Um, and the first thing I noticed about this wasn't woman wasn't about this woman was not her beauty though. Mm. That's not the first thing I noticed about noticed about her. Who was it that you noticed? I noticed after her talking to me and basically trying to shoot her shot for about two minutes, I noticed that she had a wedding ring on. Now, <laughs> now, now, <laughs> bold I tell you, bold I tell you. Now I, I I was wondering to myself, maybe she's a diff or say that just can't seem to bring herself to take that ring off. Maybe she's a, maybe she's a, maybe she puts on a ring that's not even an actual marriage ring just because she don't want, she, she doesn't want me to holler at her. I was just about to say that because, you, you know what? Go ahead, no, go ahead. Come on. Give me some feedback. Talk to me. Women do that just mm-hmm. so nobody can say anything to them. I, I think agree. it's kind of weird. I mean, it's the tactic been working for quite some time, apparently, but okay. it's weird. Like, you know what? Let me just throw this ring on just in case somebody don't want to talk to bro. me. That's that's I mean, kind of. But we not women. Facts. We don't and, know. Uh, we, I, we don't know how because I know how our kind our kind can be. Men can be pretty abrasive. Because I've as a man I've never sit down and like you know what let me put this let me let me go buy a ring and put a ring on him. Let me just see because <laughs> all because all these women just, just swarming me. me like let me see like come on man uh, get like, out of my face man and I'm really trying to figure out. I know men be hollering oh, and shit man. but damn I'm really trying to figure out. Is it really that serious? You get, but because I see, I see women walking around the aisles. They're not being swarmed by me and all, all over. I'm just saying, you might have some women who are you. Are, you might have some. They've had some experiences, but I don't think on a daily basis. It, it, anyway, so um, this woman, it depends on who you is. That's somebody said it depends on who you is. Cause uh, my DS flooded. Uh, <laughs> every day I walk out, motherfucker says under me. So you gotta be talking about a person specifically. You gotta be talking about the specifics. So. <laughs> I say this then. <laughs> Scare last on that. This woman, this yeah, I, they reach, they reach. You know when women, when you know when they when you reach too when far, angry, and, and they, they have to pull the, back. They trying to reach for the words. First of all, they trying to take the words out your mouth. First of all, shut up and let me say it. I got it. You took the words out of my mouth. Now, those words. Now, <laughs> fuck those words. So I noticed that this woman uh, had a wedding ring on, and uh, my first question, of course, was, "You married?" You know what she said to me. I wasn't expecting that question from you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry because it's so obvious. But you want to see the playing grounds. I want, man, bro. You know I like to know the grounds upon like. which I play. And when I say play, I mean mentally because you're a bold type. You're a bold type. I love interaction. I love interacting with people. You're a bold type to walk up with a wedding ring on and start shooting your shot. And that's what I, and either you bold or you just like this ring don't mean nothing because it's not even a real ring. I'm just trying to keep me in off me. Okay, cool. Now, this woman says, "I say, are you married?" Same same reaction you gave. She said, "I thought that was pretty obvious." <laughs> I thought, Hold on, was- wait. With that answer being said, that's not that's like a that's a scum answer. That's bro. That's a scumbag answer. Like. Okay, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you think, motherfucker? Like, uh, yeah, I'm married. And so, like, you know what this that, is? That's gonna stop you. So, I say, oh, so you are married. Okay, um, now I usually don't uh, get into these types of things, but I've been 
indulging in this new project for about seven weeks now. And uh, this is great content. So I said, well, actually, it doesn't matter what I said. Long story short, we're here. And I ask you, in this situation, who's wrong? Wait, wait. Her for being married? Or me for knowing that she's married and still pursuing? Knowing that she was married, confirming that she was married, and still pursuing another man's wife? Who in this situation was wrong? Talk to me. Because I need to know. I need to know. You know what I'm going to tell you. Talk to me. I'm with you right or wrong. And the motherfucker wasn't wrong. God damn it. She and was I'm wrong. She speak. was wrong or I was wrong? No, she was wrong. Of course, okay. she, of course, okay. of course she's wrong. That is one of the reasons why I don't want to get married. Because in the day, she's going to do what she wants to do. Why am I blaming you for saying, well, hey, let me take on this endeavor? Like, so you don't have to. Wait, hold on. You don't even <laughs> believe in marriage. So why would you respect the marriage? Exactly. <coughs> okay, for me. Right. For me. Okay, I say this. I saw this this uh, standout the other day too. Uh, you know, you, you like Jim Gaffigan, so I saw Jim Gaffigan. Hi, pocket. <laughs> he was doing a uh, he was doing a standout, basically discuss, talking about marriage, and um, he was talking about how he doesn't even get. He was talking about how he eats unhealthy, and his wife was like, "You better stop eating so unhealthy." You're, 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 you're not even going to make it to see your daughter's wedding. And he was like, he started thinking, he said he started thinking about it. He's like, first of all, I don't even get the point in weddings. You feel me? I don't even get the point in the whole wedding thing. It's like, we're just regular people. But for some reason, the day we get married, we act like our families are royalty. <laughs> and you send out these invitations. I hear for a two with our cordially invited to like, he was like, bro, none of us, we are, none of our families are half kingdoms. Hey, yo, that is hilarious. But yeah, we, we put on this great, and then we give ourselves this long one to two week undeserved ass vacation. <laughs> undeserved. Like, I'm so tired from getting married. We should go on a vacation. Like, bro. So anyway, it's so many things I don't understand about it, but I will say this. Yo, that is hilarious. <laughs> I will say this though. The long and short of it is you're correct. I don't believe in a lot of things that come along with marriage. And I'll say this. If I don't believe in some of those things, how could I respect some of those things? Okay. For me, perfect example. I would say that I know a lot of people probably out there like, oh, they both wrong. They both wrong. You're both wrong getting involved in something. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's give this scenario. Let's give this scenario. Man, look. Let's say in let's say it's a scenario where the woman comes up to a man, he's single. Right? She has well, let's switch it. Let's do men. We all let's switch it to men. A man walks up to a woman. She's a single woman. The man tried to shoot his shot. He got a wedding ring on. She asked him, Are you married? It's kind of obvious, ain't it? It's kind of obvious, ain't it? She like, uh, so, um, now a woman might ask, like, so your wife, you know, ooh, oh, we going, going through, they going, going through problems and all this, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Whole time she ain't gonna wait on him to get back. She wait on him to get back. I'm talking about, bro. They happy. Bro, they're, they're uh, so, so, to, in her mind, they, uh, you feel me? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> bro, and that's what I'm saying. So, in that scenario, I look at it like, this woman wouldn't be wrong for doing whatever she want to do because she's a single woman. Like, you can only hold her so accountable. She didn't stand in front of the minister and take those vows. She didn't. It's just a guy. Go ahead. She didn't approach the dude. He approached her. He approached he's her. the married one. He's the married one. Same as oh, Okay, okay, so let's do this. Let me ask you this. Would you ever mess with a married woman? Let's just let's get straight to the meat of the situation. Well, <laughs> would you ever mess? Well, all I'm gonna tell you, talk to me, is that's a part of my confessions of a scum. So, oh, with that being said, I don't yeah. know how, okay, or, okay, or what so it me, was that she did to tie all this together, but she did it. Okay, so let me say this. Let me say this. You want to get into the confession of a scum now? You want to wait? We're gonna wait. No, no, no. We're gonna wait because we, we, no, nah, we, we, got, we, got, we gonna feed these baby birds yeah, tonight. Yeah, we're gonna definitely. feed these. Ba okay, That's not so, 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 up. so let me ask. Let me let's switch it to this. Skrilla, would you ever mess with a married woman? Good question. Knowing she's married, would you mess with a married woman? Tell me the truth. You good? Are you good because you think this woman is unattractive, or in this scenario, or are you good because I just I have such a respect for the sanctity of marriage. 
Is that what you're saying? You want you, 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 are you telling me you're an upstanding citizen? Or are you saying, because in this she situation. Fine. She fine as a motherfucker. This Miss Parker Monet. fine. In this situation, she's oh. Janelle Monet. That, oh, shit. That's Skrilla's favorite. Ooh. That's, hey, that's if y'all can see his face oh, right now. <laughs> bro, oh, if y'all yeah. can see his face right yeah, now, he's like, look, you know what? I got him. His whole ass just changed. His whole ass. Well, you ain't saying it was Janelle Monet. Oh, come on. Now we, now it's a whole different playing field. Now it's a whole different ball game. Now, see, now we talking about the woman I like. <laughs> Let me talk about the woman of my dreams. My dreams, <laughs> shit. Okay, so yeah. Janelle Monet. Fact. She married. You and CVS looking for some uh some some toilet paper. You know. Hold on. You know, and, and she in that dress down, but she looking good. She looking good. Looking good. She looking good. She looking like she do. She looking like she do. Flawless. 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 And all this now. Oof. She slide up on you. She just say, "Look, you remember at the end of prime time with Miguel? I, 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 I don't. I, sometimes I want to be mysterious, but tonight I don't want to be mysterious with you, JB. <laughs> with you, Skrilla, I don't want to be back here dying, bro. Wanna... Y'all can see this shit, bro. <laughs> no, because the shit getting to him because he got to change yeah, his fucking answer. He change his answer. He slide. She slide up like I don't want to be mysterious with you, Skrilla. As you grab, you reach for the Scott paper towels on sale because you know y'all hands like, touch each other at the same time. The it's the last time. Scott. It's the last one. And you know it's only one per customer now during these times, this pandemic. Only one per customer. So let me, let, but somebody, y'all got, look, somebody got to leave out the store with that. And she letting you know right now, we could, we could both, we could take it to my house and split it right now. We, could, we can get out. We can, <laughs> he gone. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your answer now? She's not on you, but she married. She's clearly married. You know she married to, too. You know who she married to. She's married to me. <laughs> I'm the one I she married to. <laughs> 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 She's going down now. She's going down, down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> in Walgreens, you know you're gonna take her home. You take it. Fuck that. It off. Okay, so look, <laughs> so look, wait, no BS. She's married. The woman of your dreams that you would say is your, of your dreams. It don't have to be Janelle Monday. And she slide up on you and she say, "I don't want to be mysterious with you tonight." And you say, "I know you're married. You gone or no?" Skrilla say no. He say no. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you about me. I'll, I'll do mine. Since yours, yours is, a, is a part of the confession of a scum, we're going to save that. I'll give my answer. Would I mess with a married woman? You goddamn right I would. <laughs> hey, yeah. You, I, have, I have messed with married women before. Man. I have messed with Feels married women Feels all before. right. Fuck you about Feels so right Man. whenever you're... Body we talking about Lloyd. Fuck you talking about. See the shoulders. <laughs> no, he I see the shoulders. Ooh, oh, they, they gotta know. They, if you know, you know. If ooh. you know, you know. Take it. I almost my shirt in my mouth. Take it. <laughs> 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 Hips, hey, hey this me and JB was talking about this, bro. Oh, you about to tick. Me and JB was just talking about this shit, bro. The hips of of people of of Chicagoans in 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 two thousand and from two thousand and three to two thousand and seven, eight ish. The hips of Chicagoans were unmatched. The Chicago Chicago youth had the loosest hips. Oh my mama! From yeah. two thousand, the motherfuckers was just like the pelvis is where they. You thought they was belly dancers. Oh my mama! Bro, it was bro. Bop, 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 every bop, bop. male or female, everybody was a belly dancer. In Chicago, everybody was a belly that, dancer. Motherfuckers just be hip rolling. They, I'm talking about bro, thirty size the thirty jeans on hips. Ever. Loose as hips, loose as jeans. And how did you making those big ass jeans roll? <laughs> you like rolling that? with them? I'm talking about them bitches rolling. <laughs> So, bro, so effortlessly, though, bro. Effortless rolling. I'm talking about like Wave water, it, bro. Now look. So again, I, me, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. That ain't got nothing to do with me, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Before you, before you bite my head off, you you don't respect the sanctity of marriage. Why are you order? Why are you order? No, 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 no. You gotta understand where I'm coming from. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I don't give a damn. On my life, because at the end of the day, wait, let me say like two chains. I don't give a finock. A finock. Look, I don't give a fin because up. if it was all the way around, bro, if it was your wife out here, bro, who wanted to go out here and have sex for one, you're not gonna know. Two, she's gonna do what she wants. Mm -hmm. You think that dude gonna turn it down? I'm just saying. I'm, uh, what's the what? What's the chances that a motherfucker be skilled out here and just be like, you know what? <laughs> what are the chances you're gonna run across such a man? Uh, uh, such a man. Such a, a hunk. Such uh -huh. a hunk, such a specimen of a man. Come on, I bro. I mean, because motherfuckers out here scumbags, bro. bro motherfuckers it are is, fucking scumbags. And it is bro. what it is, bro. Like, and, and, and I'm going to tell you But this. it starts for, with her. Bro. She started it. Bro, I'm going to tell you this. 
the reason I say that I don't care, I don't give a finuck and all that and make jokes about it is because, bro, you guys took into this, you guys took this oath for this magical journey that you wanted to go on. I never signed any contracts. I never said I got anything to do with this. So for me to even be, that's like, okay, perfect example. That's, that's, like, that's like a perfect example, okay. Now, I don't have no contract in the NBA. No contract in the NBA. Oh, I'm talking about, bro, like, bro, now, I don't have no contract in the NBA. Obviously, motherfucker. No. I mean, I, I have to keep repeating it because from my stature, you would think that I played for the league. You know what I'm saying? You would think. I would, oh, you, man, you would think with this stature that I played for the NBA. I, I often I, I get confused hooped. for LeBron James. This guy right here. Look at him. Oh, look at the same face. Look. A beast. That's the same face. Okay, so now. Funny as hell, bro. I don't That's got funny. no contract for the league, bro, once again. And you think if they say, okay, perfect example. The cheerleaders came up to me and was like, one of the cheerleaders and was like, you know, she was fine. And she's like, yeah, you know, we were, well, you know, oh, you know, usually I, I think, you know, the NBA players are supposed to really have the cheerleaders. You know, y'all into a whole set. Y'all all signed this contract to get. They slung the motherfuckers out. If you shoot, especially if they coming at you, bro. It's not, bro. Again, you didn't come at this married woman, bro. That's true. At the end of the day, you didn't approach this woman okay. on no bullshit. Now, of course, you have choices. But wait, I got a question. How does that? I mean, let me worry about it because most probably like, well, that don't make sense. Okay, how about this one? How does my morality come into play? How do my morals come into play? I, I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say I want to get married. I didn't say nothing about. I care about marriage. I respect. I didn't say nothing about none of that. I never gave you any take on it. That's just like being a superhero. They throw like you have to be. You good. have to, you have to you use have your powers for good. good. Yeah, like you better save these people. Or like your powers are useless. Yeah, like, no. bro, I'm a I, fucking scumbag. Okay. I happen to get these powers and. From time to time, I might rob a bank. From time to time, like to I might do some family, shit. Like, I right. might just do some shit. Like I didn't. I don't want to fight this guy. Like he might be doing some. Why shit. Why am I responsible for all the moral things in this town? Because I'm a superhero. So, right. so you want me to be a superhero in this situation? Because I'm but a man. We talk about the woman of my dreams. Like we like Skrilla said. He said no. But let's talk about a lot of people who weren't around. They single, right? Okay. So you want me to be a superhero in this scenario and be the guy that's like. Put the ass on my chest. No, I, I, I won't. How I'll be dare you up. approach bro. me knowing you're married, bro. lady? But see, in my situation, of course, of course, I gave her the old what for. You feel me? I gave her the old, hey, you know, uh, I ain't going to lie to you. That's, a, that's some content I'm going to use, but I, I, I'm going to have to pass on this situation. You feel me? I'm going to have to pass on this situation. Um, what? And, 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 and I'm going to be real with you, bro. It was her demeanor as though, her demeanor was as though like, like, like I was gonna be missing out, bro. Like I don't know, it was just weird. It was just weird. Bro. That's hey, I'm like her, her demeanor was off to me. But I, I'll I'm say, trying to figure out. No, my bad for cutting go, you go, off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. How? What? Like what you mean? Because it's like she. That's funny. Like because women like, do that. Like oh, you, lady, you're married. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> Your husband missing out of anything? Like bro, like look what you're doing right now. Bro, she had the, she had the demeanor of someone who who who's done this before. Ooh. She has the demeanor of someone who's done this before. And I'll tell you what, I didn't like it. I did not like it. But I'll tell you what, I have messed with married women before. And the reason, again, is because I, I'm not the one who got <laughs> I'm not the one who got married, bro. I'm not the one who got married. So don't come this way, you feel me, trying to throw your, 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 your morals off on me. You got married, so you stick to yours. If a husband, I'm not saying infidelity isn't wrong. I'm not saying that because, and it's not because you took a vow in front of the church. And, and, and. No, I didn't say that. Right. It's wrong because you did the other person wrong. Regardless of what you vowed to them, you was with them. You know what was up. Y'all came up with an agreement. Because I didn't hurt nobody feelings. That person don't know me at the end of the day. So Look, it's not like, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm around here like, yeah, eh, eh, eh. Like, like bro. No. Like, okay. Okay. Now, let's just say you were. You, oh, now actually, you know what? Let's end it with that. Who's wrong in this situation? The married woman or the man that's not married? Or the, oh, the married man or the woman that's not married? The unmarried person or the married person? Okay, the, the wrong person is the married person, of course. Because so there's story, no fault to fall on the person that actually um, that's engaged that's, in that situation after knowing they, that they that the person is married. No, nope. Okay, nope. Okay, nope. Okay, so we are gonna leave it at that. We are gonna leave it at that. The married person is wrong. Now let me ask Very you this, much bro. So. Let me ask you this. Speaking of, it, it, bro, every time we have these, I love these episodes because you always give me a lot of things to think about, bro. 
you you had me thinking about like when you said a lot of women do do that. That like it's your loss. Like okay, so let me let me let me let me bring up. Let me let me say this. I wholeheartedly agree with you. And do you notice, bro, that when it <laughs> the when it comes to the way women behave, as far as making it feel like, you know what, bro, I'm gonna switch it again. I'm gonna switch it again. Let's put it Take on men, time. bro. Take your time. No, no, I'm gonna put it on men. I'm gonna put it on men, not women. I'm gonna put it on men because it's more interesting this way. It's more interesting this way. Okay, so let's reverse. It. Instead of women, when I was wanting to go out, now. you know how men complain about taking women out, bro. Mm. Men always complain about taking them out, women out. Nah, they always they even go they even go as far as to say, I'm not about to trick off on no woman. I, I not of my dead body. Oh my dead body. Don't, you know. I wouldn't even have my corpse at the motherfucking restaurant with her. Now look. Why she always want to? I wouldn't have my corpse at the. Why she always want to? Catch me in that if I was dead. Call me dead now. <laughs> why does she always want to go out? Fellas always want to know why does she always want to go out? Why do they always want to go out? Why I always gotta take her out? Why we can't just Netflix and shit? Why? Look, brother, let me help you understand. Let me give some. I'm gonna give the brothers some game this episode. We give, we like to give a lot of game. We are gonna give the brothers some game this episode. Mm, the only me, reason, let me preach to him. The only reason Young that women preach. like to go out. Is because we like to go in. Oh, you hear me? Holy <laughs> smokes! And he ain't never lying though, because in there you got to pay some type of price. You got to pay the troll. You got to pay the troll. <laughs> Jamie, you got to pay the troll. You got to, bro. The only re- I will say it again. The only reason women want to go out because we want to go in. It's because we want to go in. Oh, well, that's what women thinking. Why? Why they always want to go in? Because you want to go out. Now let's flip it over like that, like. Fuck, what? Fuck, fuck all the other shit. A like, trade is a trade. Fuck all the other shit. Like, hey, look, I'm trying to go in, so you trying to go out or what? Because when you come in the motherfucker like that, like, damn, you know what? I do want to go out. Bro. And now that's it. I'm going to let him go in. Like, so. and, that, and, and, and you know what's crazy? Why does it have to be this this unspoken thing that's like, well, don't say not, Don't say we going to. Don't even ask the fuck. Like, oh, not even to ask. Don't even mention that we're going to have sex. Uh, uh, why not? Throughout the day, I want to tell you, girl, when I get them back to the. Because after, you know after, after we have sex the first time, it's going to be like that. But we gotta we gotta play this role like we don't want to do nothing with each other. You have to be so harmless, bro. It's so weak. At the, be- at the beginning, it's like I'm hey. fragile the whole time. You a fucking slut, women, women. and it's nothing wrong with it. It's not do your thing, but it's like why am I saying treat you like you so fucking? Bro, women oh, are you the precious women the same way too. Gym, huh? Women the same way too. Nigga, I eat you alive. You ain't you. You couldn't even handle this pussy. Fact. But she on a date like this. Just a glass of water. No, uh, no, uh, no vodka for can me. Can I get a side of southern tea? <laughs> can I get some uh, tea? On the rocks. On the rocks. Uh, no, 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 t- no, no lick inside. Soon as everything go through, soon as y'all bang out or whatever the case may be, bro, she's a whole. She pounded back brewskis. Lachayim. I want more. <laughs> bro, so all I'm saying is this. When men, so let's get back to it. When men complain, bro, about having taken women out, bro. Think about why. Think about, think of, before you always be, the selfishness of people, bro. Me and them, the selfishness of humans, the way mm. we think, bro. Me, me, me. Why she on it? Bro, think about, think about yourself. You want to go in, don't you? Well, she wants to go out. So I, I don't say this in some type of prostitution term where it got to be, but I say a trade is a trade, bro. Women want certain things and they want to feel like they deserve certain things. Not deserve certain things. They've earned certain things or they'll not even earn. I'm going to say this. They want to feel like they're worth <laughs> They want you to show them that you know what they're worth, I should say. Mm. They want you to show them that you know what they're worth. Mm. So they're like, look, okay, cool. I might want to get this pussy up to you. I might. I just might. Off top. I might off top want to get this pussy up to you. Mm. But I'm not. Because you got to take me out first. You got to earn it a little bit, right? You got to earn it. And that's the thing. Where you go on a date, and if this is your first time talking to this person, y'all don't even talk the first date. It's yeah, bro. Majority. How you doing? What's your favorite? Yeah, 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 that, that. Y'all eat. Then y'all get the fuck up out of there. So do you think that that's, you think that's fair? You think that's fair? If a, if a man wants to have sex, like, not, well, if you want to have sex, then take her out. No, 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 no. Meaning, she wants, you want something, she wants something. And what she wants may not be, oh, I want to go out and go to a movie. It may be, she wants to see how serious you are. She wants to be how, see how intelligent you are. She, so she wants something too. And you might, the same thing, you might not want to communicate. You might not want to talk on a date. You might not want to, hey, 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 hey. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. But you're going to give her what she wants because you want something. So I ask now you Now, this is the crazy thing. What go if ahead. you don't get that? Oh! 
bam, like bam, bam, bam. Like a shot. So, yeah, you know, I had a great time. I um, had a great time. And um, I'll text you. Like the, I'll shoot your text. And um, maybe we could do this again. You want to be like this. Did you ever take my number down? I'll get it on Facebook. That's how we met. I'll get it on IG. I, um, I, <laughs> I will talk. Good night. <laughs> after, after you done fed her. Bro. Y'all done. That's, that's why but I see, don't. But see, and that's the thing. That's, that's, what I'm, that's the point I was getting at. A lot of men don't want to have to go through the. The heartbreak. Like, just that's, call it what it bro, is. that's real heartbreak. Call it what it is, bro. That is real heartbreak. Because right that's, there, I ain't going to lie to you. So tell, tell me how the day went. A lot of guys. Okay, go ahead. Low key. Seriously, don't go on dates because of that reason, bro. Because, because don't, and you know what's fucked up? It's it's fucked up that we expect like like we we do that shit to kind of expect something. It's almost like I right, say finish. You know, it is fucked say, up that we. It's, 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 it's fucked. Up. It's like this, like a blessing, right? They say you get blessed because you don't you you don't you're not expecting anything to come back to you. So in this sense, as a guy. You up here like, man, look, I didn't know. Spent $55, 80 $100, $200. I'm expecting well, I'm this not, pussy. I'm not saying that the woman isn't God because I believe she is. Facts. But I don't pray to her. Facts. So what I'm saying is this. I need to know if I'm going to get that. If, if I'm getting that pussy. Like, I don't, so I'm not, not going to wait on you to bless me like so I hold pray on. to you. Hold on. Bro. So the, Hold on. So Bro. then the whole night, you praying, basically, letting her know. You're the only one giving her the affirmation. So you're saying that's you're my a, prayer. You're a jealous guy. So you, <laughs> you, you want me to worry about you and only you, baby. You feel me? I'm not looking and thinking about nobody else, baby. Okay. So the whole night you praying. Huh, huh. You're no, the only but, thing. Not, <laughs> no, not saying praying. Not I get what you're saying, but, you I, but, but when you say it would be a blessing, you, you, if you, uh, true blessings come when you don't expect it in return. So if you're just Thanks. being nice. But that pussy ain't no blessing to me. Like, no, no, and that, no, 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 and that's what I'm saying. I'm not comparing it to what I'm saying is that we expect. Shit. Oh, you said you so saying that it is fucked it's, up. It is that fucked up that we expect because it's supposed to be. It's supposed to. So when a motherfucker hits you with it, yeah, um, I'll call you. You later. should be cool with that. No, sir. Okay, so why you? But, cool but what can it? you do? Like, okay, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> there's you, there's you, literally nothing you can do. Because you're not a wild out unless you're just a wild boy. But and, 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 and that's now that hell. We don't condone that. Hell no. Hell no. In this sense, if a motherfucker hits you, okay, no, bro, you 100 percent right because, like you said, that's why men don't even take that risk to begin. You know, that's hey, that a lot of y'all women don't realize that that's a huge risk for men to take, man. That's a huge risk that's for us why to I take. Say it's kind of fucked up because yeah, we're expecting it, but if we don't get it, it's like, bro, this is wasted money. Like I didn't, I really like, bro, I literally could have had a better time, like us buying food like somewhere else. You feel me? Not going or, out or 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 not even saying I could have had a, a better time. I think to myself, I worked hard for these fun facts, and I ain't gonna lie. At the end, the wasted like day, that <laughs> on a yeah. You know I'll text funny? you later. But you know what's uh. funny though? What if she actually do? What if, okay? What if she don't give you? Okay, so so this goes back to how I'm supposed to give you. Remember we talked about how I'm supposed to give the pussy up? What the first night? So the first date. Okay, so do you think a woman's supposed to get a pussy up on the first date? I told you, bro. I told you seventy two hours. I told you I thought I say my name, but I'm asking. I'm asking. Same so if you take a woman out on a date, let, okay, do it depend on how. Oh, that's. Now you know what? Though, do it I'm depend not, on how nice the date is. Yes, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Because shorty can be bad, bro, but she could be boring or weird, bro. The whole day, and it's like you know what? I really don't want to bone. Like, yeah, or, it's cool. I waste my bread. Ooh, no, no, think about <clears> it excuse from me. her point of view, though. Oh, we talking about from her point of view. I'm just saying, think, think about it from her point. Of view. What if you spend all that bread? Mm-hmm. And she could just see it in your eye that you looking at her like a goddamn tenderloin. Like you just want to eat a I'm talking about bro. And she shot and she shoot you down? And she like, this nigga is like way like the date was nice and everything. Like, but he's just like, you keep like saying little sexual innuendos and little shit that shows her, like, oh my God. Like, and what if she wanted to give you the pussy? But and what what is that though? Shit. Why do why 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 is it because you want to give a nigga the pussy and then when he wants it, you don't want to give it to him no more? Ain't that because, weird? Because you found out the trick. You found that, but you know what I want, and I can't let you know what I want. That's so, what it so is. So is that is that what all is that what dating is? A big game of acting like you don't want that person. You don't want don't want that. I love you me, really a love me not type game, like bro. That's that is insanity, bro. And also that falls into a little thing I like that to call goes back. But that goes, you know what's so weird, bro? It goes back to talk to how me. animals communicate before they mate. A motherfucker sit there and argue the whole time. Like you'll see two cats, like a, 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 a lion, before they had sex. Or even regular cats. They would fight like, huh, 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 huh. and then the girl lay down, woo, this, woo, that, here, walk over that, woo. Nah, that's because like, she ain't wanting to get that pussy. But he, he but she oh, want him to get that pussy, she though. Do be, they do be wanting to get that pussy. So, that, in other words, it's just like this. Like, 
Is it okay? Is it playing hard to get? You feel what I'm saying? Just like is it? Is That's it, what is brings it going me, back to okay. it. Like so that brings me into what I like to call, and I'm I'm glad I'm introducing this term on the show today. PGP. Pretty girl problem. Pretty girl problems. Holy, holy moly! You know Holy smokes! You know about PGP, bro. It's a lot of pretty girl problems. Oh wow! Is this going? Okay, so no, I'm no. new to this. Okay, so check it out. Is it going to be a segment? I'm, we're going to let because we're here with look, the family. We're going to we talk about. Look, 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 we're going. We're going. We got so much in store. And I Ooh, look. I got. I be. I, I be wait. keeping stuff from him because I like. I like the surprise face he make. I like the My surprise. My I've <laughs> never heard of this before. Pre, pre, pretty girl, what? Pretty girl problems, bro. Pretty girl and problems. And please, 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 please understand. I hope they come in. Let the, let yeah, us know. That let they, us know that pretty they, girl problems are. Okay, so to, okay. Let me let me let me let me make a let me make this statement first. Every woman walking the face of this earth is pretty, is beautiful, mm-hmm. is gorgeous. Facts. Facts. So when I say things like pretty girl problems, I put pretty on there just to compliment. It's not saying it's not there's, labeling there's and ugly it's girls. And I, no, no, don't, don't go it's on to not the deep, separation. weird area. Facts. Keep it where it's at, where we at right now. Keep it here, where we mean it to be, where we, want, where, where we want it to be, which is all of you guys are gorgeous and beautiful and pretty. Facts. But all of you guys also have problems. <laughs> so they play hand in hand. So they play hand in hand. So let me say this. That's where it goes, and that's, that's the whole thing. Now, pretty girl problems is whatever problems that usually most women have. Now, I'll say this. You know how when you go to pick a girl up and you say, hey, can you hey, be ready at this time? Ooh, and she's still not ready. That's, that's a, PGP. That's a PGP. That's for, PGP. For sure. For sure. You know, you know this, uh, you know the thing where you say, hey, what you want to eat? And the only thing she does is name all the things she don't want. Well, I, I definitely don't have a taste for fish. And I definitely don't have a taste for burgers. Sure. For sure, right? Wow. So, PGP for sure also is the women who, I mean, not, not the women, are when women, is it the, one of the PGP characteristics is when women do that thing of acting like they don't want it, that hard to get thing. That's, that's what brought me to that point, that hard to get thing. That, that, that thing that makes you, that thing that makes you wonder like, yo, is Shorty rocking with a nigga or not? Like, you didn't pay hard to get a little too much now. That's because, and that's pretty good problems, but they, they trying to decipher in their head which nigga they're going to really be with because Man. if she's a pretty girl, I'm going to tell you right this right now. You know you're not the only one. P, you know you're not the only one if she's a pretty girl because- at the Which day, means all women. Now, I'm going to say this, bro. Y'all got to stand. Y'all have, y'all have y'all goddamn sidekicks. Bro, and I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to say a this. A backup. Now, you saying- in every scenario, everybody's not the only guy. In every scenario, in the I don't world. care what you. I, You're saying every it, scenario, every take man. Take it how the fuck you want to. You'd be a damn fool as a man to believe that this woman is only dealing. Now, now look, I'm not saying that the person that she might be dealing with besides you, not saying that she's having sex with this person, not saying that they're actually kicking it, but you best to believe it's one there. You best to believe. Does he drink not Hennessy? Sh- he, he could drink anything. He going to still be there. He could drink nothing. He's still going to be there because at the end of the day, it's that type of relationship that they build. So are these the ones that they label their friends? Oh, that's my friend. Or is that or is, or is this a guy that you might not even know about? Are you saying if it's like that, you ain't even going to know about the guy? Is that what you're saying? You're not even. It ain't going to be. Oh, that's my friend. You're not even. you saying they got one in the lurches. All women got one in the, in the chamber. They got one in the chamber loaded just in case. Is that what you're saying? Even married women? Who? Dun, dun, dun. Are you saying even married women? Yes. Of okay. course. You'd be a damn fool. Some, it's fucked up, but ladies, so are you saying y'all that, know that if one, if, if yo got tweet, I'm going to my friend's house. I'm going to Dave's house. Fuck you talking about in real so, life. So you're saying. And Dave, you don't even know who Dave is. See, the guy you think you worried about, the, thing you, the guy you think you. Oh, uh, no, no. You ain't got to worry about him. It's the motherfucker who in a. He in the lurches like this. He got them blending in. He in the cut like this. Welcome to another episode of Flip Flops and Socks. <laughs> episode. But ah, guys like them, right? Like those type of guys. <laughs> he kind of fucked me up because I'm like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, guys, yeah, yeah I gotcha. Those, he's one of those type of guys. But no, nah, dead ass. It's just like, bro, like. So you saying one of the guys that's waiting in the lurches, even for married women, is a guy like you? Is, is this where your confession comes in? Well, 
this is not where my confession comes in because it kind of, you know what? It kind of fell in my lap like how yours, how, how, how the situation. So it just fell in your lap. Okay, okay. Well, I guess. Con- I guess. Is, is it time for confession? I guess. Confession to the scum. Confession. It came so quick. That's what she said. Da, 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 womp, womp, bah. Bah. <laughs> no, but um, I hope she didn't. No, nah, I mean, mine's kind of fell in my lap, bro. It was like, um, <sighs> it, it wasn't. You say mines. What do you mean mines? You got to come on. Start, give, give us. My, okay. Come on, man. Give us the. Give us the real. They, they, they've, been, they've been waiting all episode Let for this. Get coffee. That's I don't want to drag this out. You don't want to drag it out. I don't want to drag it out because I don't want the episode to go pat. Uh, I don't want to go crazy, but y- y'all gonna get this. Now look, Skilla. I'm toasting. Skilla, hold your cup out, baby. Come on. I'm toasting on. to the fact that we here. We here. And I'm here to confess again. Confessions are okay. always good to clean. Clean your soul, bro. Well, talk to me. Wait, wait, wait. One last thing. You know we got to get trippy. He sleep, I think. I think he did this episode. Mm. Ah, I know ah he's yeah, he awake. He, no, he's look at, he laughed. He in uh-huh. a good mood today, though. Uh-huh. He waiting on us. He in a good mood today, though. He waiting on us. I got what, treats. What, what you got for us today, bud? Got treats. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead. You can go first. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Right, now you don't roll all of them to my side. Yep, that's the one. I think that's the one. This is the one. Okay. Right, let's get them out of here. All right. Family, y'all ready, man? Another, another. Let's bring them back in with Confession Tell us. I can't wait to put that on the shirt. I'm sorry. Cut that. I'm cut. I can't wait to just like get that. Anyway. Okay, well. Let's go. In this story, it doesn't take place in Carbondale, but I just left Carbondale. So I'm saying this was 2012. Right after Thanksgiving, right before the holidays. Um, and we're where? We're where? This is in Carpenter. Uh, um, no, but I moved back to Chicago from Okay, 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 okay. In 2012. Okay. Okay, um, I'm fresh back. I'm out here. Yeah, I saw the world. I ain't see nowhere, but goddamn Southern oh, Illinois. You to, when you go to college, though, you do see the world. You, you, you kind of see the world. Because you meet people from everywhere, and they tell you about the rest of the world. Facts. And you end up traveling different places in that process of finding yourself. Okay, so I get back. To Chicago 2012. I'm looking for a job. I find a job at Taco Bell. Did it till the new year came. It's 2013. Okay. It's December 27th, 28th. <coughs> I get a call from my mom's best friend. His name, we're gonna we're gonna call him Ken Dog. Okay, Ken Dog. Uh, okay. Big Ken Dog. Big Ken Dog. <coughs> hey, Tim, your uh, your son back from uh, school? Yeah, he right here. Hold on. What's going on, man? What's happening, man? You back, ain't you? Okay, yeah. Check it out. I'm taking pictures up uh, at the strip club. You, you, you trying to make some money? What? You think I'm not? <laughs> what, what strip club? Hey, you heard of the factory? Oh, I'm, shit. I'm back. I'm, no, I ain't never heard of the factory. Oh, Where that's at? Oh, it's, it's out here. It's out south. On Dixie Highway. Ooh, this, ooh, that. Oh, okay, back. Well... This was a Wednesday when I got this phone call. For if those who don't know, for those who don't know, sorry to cut you off. Please, but the factory. Tell, talk to him. It's a strip club. It's a strip club. It is the wildest. It's one of the wildest. It's one of the wild. It was one of the wildest strip clubs in Chicago. A lot I'm, went on with the factory. It, it has a sorted past. Uh, a we won't very, get into all that. Very sorted past. We God won't get damn. into all that, but it was a wild joint. It was a wild joint. And uh, check it out. Be, motherfuckers just be too wild in that so, joint. So this 2012. All right, let's go. It's popping. Around this time, it's busting. King Louie out, busting. <laughs> Every day I'm You moving. feel me? Busting. You feel me? So, weekend come. This is my first day. Before this, though, I'm learning how to work the camera. I go out to his house. He stay out towards Madison. I go out to his house, learning how to work the camera. Ooh, this, ooh, that. Okay, cool. First day, we get it busting. Popping. Time of my life. Seeing things I ain't never seen before. Oh, now, shit. I went to strip clubs in Carbondale. But they, they rinky are, dink. Uh, they was rinky dink. Those don't need strip clubs. Those be titty bars. Now, don't get me wrong. The factory low key is a titty bar, though, to be honest. I know, but hey, 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 the factory is something. That, but look, anyway, you just got to know the right but, but see, right. You got to know, you the, know right the right people. But it's, it's a titty bar, too. Because they but, didn't get too naked. They didn't show pussy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. But when you're talking about Carbondale, a titty bar in Carbondale, they got on a goddamn negligee. They got that bitch with Facts. a teddy on. You and that bitch like, shorty, is you going to take something Facts. off? Like, what? God damn. At like, the factory, they had their bras off. At least they had their bras off. And throw, them off, throw, them, throw the G-string. I wish, I wish my buddy had a G-string on the car. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so. Go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm learning how to take pictures. We, we started Time of pictures. your life. Time of my life. Turned up. Okay. I did that shit for about two or three weeks. 
not well, not the full time I did it because I did this whole experience for a year, but a two or three weeks went past. Okay, cool. I meet Ken Dog, one of Ken Dog's closest friend, older woman. Okay. Fire. Oh my. Fire. We're gonna call her Miss M. Oh my God, Miss M. Now Miss M. Miss M. She sounds brown bad. skin. Whew. Let's talk voice. Oh, Miss M, you better stop talking like that. She like. I'm 21, 22. She like Young buck. 41, oh 42. Thick as a motherfucker, dog. You now, about- I ain't gonna lie. I think Ken dog hit her back in the day. I don't, I don't care what I said. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, okay. You ain't gonna hold me. Okay, I ain't okay. gonna hold nah, nah, I think nah, nah. he hit it because she fire. You feel what I'm saying? That's just what it is. And she promiscuous as fuck, but not in a, like a horse way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, she just talked that talk. She got, she she got a way about her. she like a motherfucker. She got a way about her. So, uh, 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 thick, thick, thick as cold peanut butter, you say? Uh, carry on. I just bring wanted to bring memory. that. I want to bring that back to the forefront because bring, bring back memory. Jesus so Christ. yeah, Miss M, um, thick as hell. She about five, six, five, seven. As soon as I met her, okay. So when I met her, she came to the club. Okay. She didn't know Ken Dog was working there. He told her about the Wooders were coming out because. Let me go back. Let me digress. Ken Dog take pictures. He. Take pictures at motorcycle club events. He takes pictures. A photographer. At, he's a photographer. Okay, he's a photographer. He's a photographer, and he was situated like a motherfucker around this time, like checking a bag. You okay, feel so me? He, at he the was club. in the game. He was in, he the, was game. in the game, baby. Okay. I'm talking about for the win. Okay. He needed help. He called me. Okay, we're back at the club. All he right. was dead in the game. That's why. Yeah. He, okay, so he needed. An he apprentice. needed. He needed apprentice real okay. quick. Okay. You feel me? Okay. So okay, cool. I met Miss M at the club. She came through. Now, when you go to the factory, let me break it down. You come in through the entrance. Why? You gotta pay your money for some people. Gotta pay your money. Okay. It's two sides. Well, I, I think it's more than two sides to the factory, but I know for a fact I was on two sides. <laughs> it's the main floor where they got all the strippers and the DJ at for sure. That's the main floor. Then it's the side floor. It's like the side room where they had the mechanical bull. They had another DJ yeah, in there, yeah, but they yeah, was playing yeah. a different. They was playing different music in that room. Now on the side of that side is where they had photographers taking pictures. Exactly. You couldn't cross that rope to get on that side. No, hell no. Okay, cool. Check it out. That side was busting. You feel me? Like all the time. We had women over there. We kicking. Of we taking course. pictures. That's just the side. Right. If we went over there on that side, we walking around holding our cameras up. Yo, y'all want to take a picture? Woo this, woo that. Okay, cool. Miss M comes to the club. She see, damn, y'all got it busting. Right. Woo this, woo that. Now around this time, me and Ken Dog, I used to, we <laughs> we pop an ecstasy like a motherfucker. Y'all in you the hear zone. me? Out of zone. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, that motherfucker going hard. I'm See, feeling I'm myself. I'm young. I'm brother, I'm brother, I'm brother, have my brother. hair. You feel me? I'm doing my thing. You feel for those on the ball here. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. Oh I'm young. God. I'm going crazy. <laughs> lining on point. Bop, bop. Beep, bop, bop, bop. Okay. You feel so me? You was, you was, oh, so you was really in the world. I was in the world. You, you feel me? You was in the world. Me? Really? Okay, check okay. it out. Okay. Okay. It's M checking us out. She's seeing us. You know what I'm saying? We doing this our This the thing. first time you meet her or this is just after no, you? Okay. You've known, you've, known you've known her for a little bit. This is one of the days you happen this to see her again. This is one of the days I happen to see her again. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I died. No, no. I'm just making sure they know. Make sure they know. Okay. So after you met her, you've been working at the club. She already knew I was a cutie. When she first met me, she was flirting hard. You feel what I'm saying? Very promiscuous, like I said, but not in a study way. Okay, cool. Okay. This is around the time we get real acquainted. I'm off the shits. She happened to see me on one side of the club. She get my attention. She, I'm, I can't hear you. I can't see me with the cam. Come over here. I bet. Look, when you got time, meet me in the back. Ken dog, he in the car sleep. Now, he used to get fucked up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And go to the truck and go to sleep. Yeah, to shine, but you got it. At this time, I'm working it. Huh, 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 huh. All right, I got to yeah. do is bring him the bread at the end of the night. You he ain't far. Yeah. When you get through, meet me on the side. Ooh, you know the side over there where y'all take pictures at. You can close that side off. Bro. I didn't tell y'all she was married. Okay, check it uh, out. Oh, she, was she the type that wore her ring or no? Nah? She didn't wear no ring because at the time, they was kind of separated, but they're still... Married. Okay, 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 okay. She's definitely still married. She's definitely still married. A separation is a marriage just for everybody that don't know. You damn goddamn married. Because at married. the end of the day, if you wasn't separated, you wouldn't say it. Exactly. You would say you're divorced. You say you're divorced. Simple as that. Because you oh, know what's coming anyway. Okay, check it out. I meet on the south. I need to take care of my business. Okay. She had no panties on. Oh, now this is the my. thing that's kind of crazy, bro. Because I don't want to drag it out too much, though. Nah, but nah, please do. the fact that you're married, I'm this young tenderoni. Okay, okay, you want me the way you want me. Oh my! But you want me so bad that you will fuck me in a strip club. 
You want me so bad? You you'll fuck me, me in the workplace. You'll have me here right now. You think I'm not gonna go, but the fact is that I want you too. I want you back. But <laughs> by me being the guy that I am, for one, I'm not gonna step on nobody's toes. That's why I'm saying it all played into what you said earlier. Okay. Who, who, am I wrong who, who for being scummy? You, who toes were you making sure you didn't step on exactly? Because nobody. I say who to, who's toes? Nobody. Because, but then, but see, the reason why I said that I want to nobody toes because at the end of the day, I knew she had a ring on. So I didn't, she didn't, she didn't approach me until later on in our, like, in us meeting. But, we, but at the beginning, when I first met her, I didn't approach her like, hey, I want to talk to you. No, no, no. I didn't step on nobody's toes because I knew she was married. But when she came, you think I cared or not? Okay. So you said, okay, you said all that. You said you was a young tenderoni. You say, she think, you think I cared? You think I cared? You think you care? You think I care about that? Let me ask you this. You're in the club. Mm-hmm. You're in the factory. The wildest place. Wildest place. At this time. Right At this time. Oh my God. She ain't got. She ain't got no goddamn panties on. Nothing on. She has no panties on. Nothing. You off the drinks. You off the pill. Who knows what she's off of? <sighs> on the dance floor. On the dance floor. On, on the side. Getting hot and heavy. She says, "Look, young man, I she, need you." I know she didn't say that, but look. No, I'm, just, just, I'm, 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 making, I'm, making it, I'm making it real, real older, but look. Good. Now, look, I'm making it real. Now, you're there. She's there. She tells you, I want you. I want you now. I want you, and I want you now. Let's go on the side where you take pictures back. Take pictures back and close that curtain. Facts. That's exactly what she said. No. <laughs> she said, okay, now, now, see, now I'm getting closer. Now. Now. We talked all that shit earlier. All of that shit we talked earlier. Oh, would you made it? Would you date it? Would you? Now, hold on now. We waited. We want to know. God damn it. Did you, did you have the guts, the gall to take down another man's wife? Damn near twice your age. Damn near twice your size. She was a stallion before Meg was. Ooh, gee. You hear me? Ooh, wee, wee. So I ask of you, my young brother, fuck all that other dumb shit. Did you or did you not? You want to know, don't you? Take this married woman. Hell yeah, I want. Did you take? They want to know. Did you or did you not? Spark my blood up. I'm gonna let you finish. Take this married woman down in a fucking dirty strip club. Well. Uh, Talk to me. You better be honest too, because I want the fucking truth. I got well. The you'll find out the next oh, episode of Goddamn Flip Flops and Socks. Hold on, we oh, we right at the time limit. We're right at the time. Well, guess what? I think you timed that a little too well, my brother. You have to find You're out. You're getting too good at this. Next week on Flip <laughs> and Socks. That's just what it is. You feel me? I because, mean, because, I couldn't give it to y'all just wait, like wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. I can't give it up like that. <laughs> okay, we have to I'll try to squeeze a little extra time out of that one. I tried to squeeze a little extra time out of them, bro, because I know I need to hear this story, man. But we got we to gotta get him out of here, man. Got to get him out of we here, We have man. to get him out of here. Got to get him out of here. Again, we appreciate y'all. <sighs> She's a scum. We love y'all. She's a scum. Thanks, family. He's not wrong. I'm not wrong at all. <laughs> Thank y'all, family. We really do appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Again, we got Skrilla in the building. The appreciate hardest you, working man alive. Everybody raise the glasses yes, up. Let's do it. Yes, Come on, sir. Skrilla. Let's go and get him out of here, Skrilla. Let's yes, get him out sir. of here. Let's get him on out of here. The hardest working man alive, always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To our family, to our cousins. We love y'all. We love y'all. We'll see y'all again.